Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic and today we've got a puzzle by Glum Hippo, one of my favourite names actually and um, in fact if I remember I will put um, a picture of Glum Hippo's sort of logo uh, uh, on the video titles because it just amuses me to think of a Glum Hippopotamus um, and this one is called the Windmill and let me show you why if I can get the... Uh, the mouse shading correct you can see you can create quite a pretty picture of something that looks sort of or approximates to a windmill in the center of the grid in the cells that aren't part of cages uh, this as usual on cracking the cryptic it comes it comes with massive plaudits uh, behind it uh, and mark who test solved it said it's exactly the sort of puzzle that we hope to bring you more of in our killer sudoku app which is um, we're working hard on at the moment i hope it will be released sometime next month with a fair wind. Um, so yeah, and I, I can tell you that some of the puzzles I've already tested uh, for that app are beyond belief. They are really stunning. So what have we got? Yeah, it's it's normal killer Sudoku or a partial killer Sudoku today. It's called partial killer Sudoku because not every cell contains or is part of a cage. So we've got normal Sudoku rules, numbers one to nine in each row, column and three by three box. And in these boxes like this 12 cage, you've got to make sure the three three cells add up to 12 without repeating a digit. And that's all there is to it. So do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. And with that, I get to play. Let's get cracking. Um, now, now, okay, well, I'm going to put one, two in there. Let's start with that. Ah, now, in fact, I'm now going to, yeah, I can use the 12 cage straight away. If I, this this one too, slightly hard to see, but not terribly difficult. This pair sees every cell in that 12 cage. Well, if I can't use one and two in a 12 cage, the only way of getting to 12 is with three, four, and five. So that looks like it's quite deliberate uh, on the part of the setter. One must go in one of those three squares, look. Um, and as one is in the same columns of the grid in box two and box eight, we've got to ask where one would go in box or in column six. So it's got to go in one of those three cells. Four, five. It's actually quite interesting when you scan round this grid, apart from in these five cells, there is not that much there. There really isn't much there. I mean, you can't even conclude this 26 cage needs to contain a 9 because it doesn't. You can get to 26 with 8, 7, 6 and 5. Ah, 28 there. In fact, ah, okay. Ah, yeah, all right. Let's look at this. 28 and 16 are reasonably large numbers. So together they add up to 44. Now that m might be interesting for this box because we know the box adds to 45 because that's what we get when we add up all of the digits from 1 to 9 and we obviously know the box in the finished solution will contain the digits 1 to 9. So if these cages add to 44, you can see to get to 45 we need to deduct this cell, add these three cells and add 1 to that total. Um, now, so this is actually, this is actually quite interesting, to be honest, because how can we do this so that it works? Because we can't put one and two in this domino. In fact, where do what? Ah, yeah, okay. In fact, where does one... If we look at one and two in this box, one and two can't go there. They can't go in the 28 cage. You can't put both of them in the 16 cage because then this cell would have to add up to 13. So this square is a one or a two. But what's the minimum I can put in this domino? I can't put one and two in. I could put three in, but once I put three in, I now can't put four or five in, so I'd have to put six in, because if I went, for for example, for three, four, you can see I would have to put three and four into row three, column six, which is impossible. So, 
So this actually is going to fix everything, isn't it? Because the minimum I can make these three cells add up to, the absolute minimum, would be 10. So now we've got these nine, or these 10 cells adding up to 10 plus 44 is 54, which means this square to bring us back to 45 has to be equal nine. And that is the only thing we can do. If we make this these three cells any higher, we've got to make this equal higher than nine, which won't work. So I think we get a three here. Which means we get seven, eight, nine into those three squares. That can't be nine because it's part of a 14 cage. The 14 cage is either going to have one, two, four in it if this is a seven, or one, two, three in it if this is an eight. So it's always got. So now there's definitely a two in the 16 cage. And there's no, look, there's no six in the 28 cage. Right, so the, the 28 cage is forced, therefore, because there are only actually two ways of getting to 28. We can use nine, eight, seven, and four. That's one way. Uh, but if we don't make the 11, the seven and the four, add up to 11 that way, we've got to use five and six, and five and six is impossible. So this must be nine, eight, uh, seven and four, which means that square is now placeable. That's a nine. This must be a two five pair. Four is not in the 14 cage. So this must be an eight now because we get a one, two, three triple. This square is given now. It's a seven. These two squares have got to be five and six, I think which is nice because now that gives us this square. What a lovely start. Um, and this square, these squares are seven and eight. And these squares are four, six and nine. So we've got an awful lot of the top, not done, but certainly well, the options have been dramatically reduced. Now, ah, 19 cage in three cells without using a nine? Well, that's... Oh, I was about to say that could be four, seven, eight, or eight, five, six, but it can't be four, seven, eight, look, because four, seven, eight, if we put four, seven, eight in there, this square would have no value. So this must, this must, I think, be five, six, and eight, which means that's not eight. And this gives us a two and a five. Okay, now, now we have a little hiatus while I think again. Let me try and find something to do here. Ah, uh, maybe this, yeah, okay, well, it's not brilliant, but if there's no eight in this 20 cage and there isn't there must be a nine in it so let's put that in that's not nine therefore so this 20 cage is a bit restricted because if oh it's very it's actually very restricted lovely so let's look at the options for the 20 cage if this is a four these two squares have to add up to 16. Well, you can see that if that's the case, because of the seven here, we'd have to go seven and nine in this order. Now, what about if this is six? Well, now this has to add up to 14, but we can't repeat the six in the cage. So this would have to be five and nine, which has to be, again, because we've got the nine here, the nine would have to go in this square. So there's always a nine in this 20 cage. The nine is always there therefore, but this square actually could be a five or a seven. These have to add up to 11. This is not nine. Therefore, this is nine. So the 24 cage now hasn't got a nine in it. So does that need to have an eight in it? 
Yes, it does, because 7, 6, 5 and 4 would only add to 22. So there is an 8 in this cage. But we don't really know much about where that goes. Uh, okay. Oh, I'll tell you something we can do. We know that this pair adds up to 11. And we know that this 20 cage has a 9 in it. So whichever version of 11 is used here won't be available to make the 11 balance that we need for this 20 cage. Now, if we combine this, therefore, let's imagine this was 4 and 7. We therefore know this will be 9, 5 and 6. If this is 5, 6, this will be 9, 4, 7. So in fact, it's a bit long winded, but we know that there is a quintuple on 4, 6, or 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9 in this column. So these squares have got to be 1, 2, or 3, which of course is useless. Ah! And it was going so well. Um, hmm. Okay, so what do we do now? Um, I don't know is the answer. I feel like there must be... Does this have to have a 7 in it? That would be useful. Let's check that. So 8, 6, 5 and 4. It does. Eight, eight, it's, not a, it's not a sum I do very often, but 8, 6, 5 and 4 only add to 23. So there does have to be a 7 in the 24 cage, and that is lovely. That gives us a 7. And what's more, that now does a lot of work in terms of this 20 cage. So if I'd done this in another order, I wouldn't have had to think about this 20 cage. Once you know there's a 7 in it, it must have a 4 in it, given it's got a 9 in it. So we can eliminate the 5 and the 6, which means this is a 5-6 pair, which gives us the 4 here. There must be a 4 in one of those two cells. 15, These we need 9 more. We can't use 4, 5, 1, 8 or 2, 7. So this needs to be 3, 6 and 8. This is not 3. 1, 2 and 5 at the bottom there. And stuck again. Um, hmm. Ah, a little bit. I've spotted something. Fives sort of hone in on this 26 cage. And once you can't have a five in this 26 cage, it must have a nine in it. Because we can't use eight, seven, six and five. And if that's not available, there must be a nine in here. Uh, and we can rule the 9 out of this domino because of this 9. So we get that there's a 9 in one of those three squares. 9 in a 16 cage would be interesting. Because the other three squares would have to be 1, 2 and 4. Which... Hmm. Is that possible? I think it might be. The reason I'm looking at this 16 cage now, though, is this 14 cage. Yeah, OK, this 14 cage is a little bit interesting to me because does it have to have a one in it? The answer is yes, because if it doesn't have a one in it, it has to be two, three, four and five. But look, there's a 4-3 pair here. So that would mean this pair would have to be 3 and 4. And it, this, you can see, cannot be a 3 or a 4. So this 14 cage does contain a 1. And because the 8 cage contains a 1, we know that the 1 in the 14 cage is in exactly one of those two cells. And there's a one here, so, ah, this is perfect. So now the 16 cage can't have a one in it. And if it can't have a one in it, it can't possibly have a nine in it. That is lovely. So this is a nine. Uh, 
Oh, I thought we might get more from that, but we don't. Uh, bobbins. <laughs> Sorry. That's all ground to a rather ignominious halt, hasn't it? Uh, oh, dear. There must be there must be something we can do with this. So there's no one in the 16 cage. We know two, three, four, and five would add up to 14. So doesn't it have to have a two and a three in it? If there's not two, if we got if we went two, four, five, six, that would add up to 17 so it has got a 2 and a 3 in it okay so it's got 2 and 3 in it and then we need two more cells to add up to 11 which is either 4 7 ah or 5 6 got it well it can't be 5 6 because if it is 5 6 that breaks the 19 cage because we can't put 5 and 6 into this cell so actually we get this one this is 2 3 4 7 Oh, no! Well, that's a bit unkind. So there must be a one in one of those squares. There must be a one in one of these squares. I felt sure that would be more useful than it seems to be. Five now must be in one of those squares, so it can't be here. Oh dear, this is... Uh, I think I'm missing... Missing something very simple here. But I'm not sure what it is. Oh, okay. I've spotted... Yes, I have got something. Nine. Where does nine go in box eight? It can't go in the 18 ca eight cage and it can't go in a 14 cage that's of size four. So the nine must go, ah, in fact, the nine must go here. I hadn't spotted that because my scanning's awful. But that means this square is a nine, which is what I had spotted. Um, right, so now we've got a two, three, four, seven quadruple in the bottom row. You can see that means this square can't be two or three because the two th and three in this quadruple are definitely in one of or two of those three cells because they can't be in this one. So this can't be two anymore. One, two, five coming down here. Okay, so let's look at the options. I'm quite interested in the options, especially for this domino, because if we look along here, we've effectively got five digits. We need one, five, six, and eight into those three squares. Now, that one can't be five. Oh, better than that and easier than that is you can't put an eight in this 14 cage because the other three digits can't be one, two, and three. So if there's no eight in the 14 cage, this is the eight. That gives us an eight and a seven. This is a one, five, six, triple. One, five, and six add up to 12. So this square is a two. This square is a five. This is a one, six, five. And a little flurry of activity, yes. Keeps going, keeps going. It's got to be a two in this domino. Um, five here rules, ah, five must go there in the 19 cage because we've ruled it out of every other cell. This can't be six, oh, it can't be six. Six is in one of those two cells. Where does two go in this box? It can only go there. So this square is a three or an eight. Ah, the eight cage is forced. It's got to be one, three, four, because the two, five are 
elsewhere in the box, which means those two squares have got to be 6 and 7. There's a 6 at the top. Good. So 6, 7. These squares have got to be 1, 8, 9. That can't be 9. Oh, and it can't be 1 because it's part of a 10 cage. And if it's 1, you get the 9 there and it still breaks. So this has to be 8, which is cool because that gives us a 2, 2, 1. This is not 1 now. These are not 8. You can see what Mark meant about it just being a superb killer Sudoku. Often, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but some killer Sudokus, they have a brilliant opening trick, but then once you sort of figured that out, they, they collapse. Um, this has not collapsed. This is most certainly retained a lot of its bite. Um, okay. So it feels to me like maybe the 26 cage is where we look now. I could well be missing some basic Sudoku. I am all too aware of that, but I'm just not seeing where it is. And in the absence of being able to see, see where it is, I have to look for something different. Um, what about along here? Oh, I can still get some fours and sevens done. That, that, that will give me a little bit more, actually. Let's do that first. So these are 1, 6, and 8 in some order. That's not 6. That's not 4. OK. Right, I'm going to look at this 26 cage. What have we got here? We've got a 9 in it. that We know there's no 5 in it. So is there an 8 in it? That seems like a very reasonable question. Is there an 8 in it? If there's an 8 in it, the 8 would have to be in one of those two squares because of this 8. So this would be an 8-9 pair. Now, does that break anything? Those two squares would have to add up to 9. Without using 2-7, 1-8, seven, these would have to be 3-6. Three, three, that doesn't work. That's interesting. So if there is an 8 in the 26 cage, you've got to put 3 and 6 into this domino to, to get the balance of 9. And that means there's a 6 and an 8 in this cage, which breaks that cell. So that's not right. So there's no 8 in this cage. So if there's no 8, surely it must be forced. If there's a 7 in the cage, you then... You've then got 16. You need 10 more, which is either 4 and 6. Well, it just is 4 and 6 because we've already worked out there's no 8 in the cage. Um, so, yeah, so that that is it. What we've got to do is label this up. This is 9, 7, uh, 6 and 4. That's not 7, which means where does 7 go? Look, 7's got to be in one of, actually, it's not there either. It's got to be in one of those two cells. Pairs up with this one, gives us the 7 in the top. This does have a 6 in it, so that squares an 8, because it can't be a 6. That gives us another digit or two. It gives us a 1, 8 pair. Yes, keep going. 4... 4 in this box now is forced over onto the right hand side of it so we can eliminate 4 create a 679 triple give ourselves a 3 and a 6 give ourselves a 2 at the bottom this square's got to be 3 that's got to be 4 those two squares there have got to be 1 and 3 I think and these two squares have got to be 5 and two, I'm just trying to see whether I can resolve those, which I don't think I can. So this four places a four here. 
that's lovely. This four and this four put a four five pair into my nine cage. And because I have a five in the columns, I actually can get the order of that. So that looks like that, that fixes all these. Oh yeah, I think we're on the home straight now. Maybe shouldn't speak too soon, but I'm hopeful. Um, this square here has got to be a one or a three. So we've now got a one, three pair across here. This can't be nine. So if we look along this row, this square has got to be a six or a seven, and it can't be a seven. So we make it a six, seven. These two squares here have got to be three and seven. Get those, that fixes the three and the one, fixes the one here, fixes the one and the three. And, ah. Where's the final piece? Ah, oh, that's one. Okay, so that gives us one, nine. That bounces back, gives us nine, six. Gives us six and eight. A five and a two are fixed. We need a three here, a two here, and that is what I'll submit. And it's correct. Beautiful, beautiful puzzle um, from Glum Hippo. Um, so your uh, Glum Hippo, you made me very happy, which is, I guess, the idea. Um, so I'm happy Simon today. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments how you got on with the puzzle and let me know if you enjoyed it too and whether you're looking forward to our killer Sudoku app. I certainly am and we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.